Okay, good morning everyone. It's Monique in the kitchen again and today I'm joined by my little friend. This is Vito. Now Vito's on a leave because I'm making my environment safer so I can do some exercises. And I hope that you're doing that too. We're about to do a few different exercises today. We're going to look at some strength as well as some balance. So um, without further ado, let's set up our environment. I've got my chair, so if I get tired, I can sit down and have a rest. I've got my kitchen bench right next to me, so I can lean on it. And I know that it's really solid and it won't move if I have to lean on it. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about today was uh, strength training. So as an older adult, you might not know that um, you have an advantage with strength training compared to younger people. So studies have shown that older adults can increase their strength more rapidly than younger adults with strength training. So isn't that interesting? Um, same with endurance actually, but um, let's talk about strength today. So today, as you can see, I'm in my kitchen again. It's raining outside, it's fantastic. Hopefully um, we're getting some much needed uh, water in the garden. But I've been looking through the kitchen cupboards and I've found two identical bags of rice. So I know they're the same weight. So this is just a 750 gram bag of rice. So what I'm going to do is some upper limb strengthening. And if you have something in your pantry that you could pick up now, just see if you can find it. Maybe a tin of beans, some rice. You don't have to have two bags. You can just use one if you want. Um, I'm going to use two. So let's take a seat. Make sure that we're sitting comfortably and supported. We don't have to be all the way back. But I come, I'm gonna come sort of to the middle of my chair so I can move around. So today I'm going to do some upper limb strengthening. Okay, now remember part of that is to do some nice deep breathing. So I'm going to make sure I take slow deep breaths so that the bases of my lungs are getting all the air as well as the top part of my lungs. So when I take a slow deep breath, I can feel my ribs expanding down in this region. So let's as we're doing our weights, we're going to be mindful of doing deep breathing as well. So here we go. First of all, we're going to take the weight up above our head. So we can go. And down. And up. And down. Let's do five more. That's one. That's two. To mix it up because it gets a little bit boring just saying one, two, three, four, five, doesn't it? So I know some of you out there can speak different languages. So this is the time when I like to try and practice my other languages. Okay, so we're going to do a different, um, a different uh, move now. I'll show you from the side what this one looks like. We're going to we're going to just use one bag and put it over our head. This time we're going to go up and down like this. So down and then straight up. And that's for your triceps. So here we go. So I'm going to practice my Italian to 10. Uno, due, tre, quattro, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, how did you go? Did you remember to do your breathing? I hope so. Okay, now the next little exercise we could do, I'm going to, um, well you could do this in standing up, but if you're not so good on your feet, if your balance isn't so great, you can do it sitting down as well. So you, you can do this one arm at a time, or you can do it both arms at a time. I'm going to do two at a time, but maybe if you're replaying this video later, you can just try one at a time. Okay, what other language do I know? Okay, let's try some simplified Chinese. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay, here we go. And you can have a laugh at home if you're a native Chinese speaker. I don't mind. Okay. E. Er. San. Su. Wo. Yo. <laughs> ba Jo Sure. Okay, that, that's my version of Chinese 1 to 10. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Oh, I know we've got some more. Sorry, we thought we've got to do it in French. Okay, so this time I'll just show you what the movement is. We're going to take our elbow into our waist. So it's glued into your waist, doesn't move out, not like that, like this. And you're going to go out and in. Now if you don't have weights, you can just do it with your arms, of course. But here we go, we're going to go out and in. So I'm going to get my weights again. Okay, this is French. And de trois, quatre. Bank. Six. Set. Wait. Oh, how do you say nine in French? No. Pardon? No. <laughs> Dix. Merci. <laughs> Merci, Monsieur le cameraman. <laughs> okay, so we've done a little bit of a warm up. Uh, we can also um, we can just do our shoulder rolls without weights, or we can of course use the weights, so I'm going to use the weights just because I've got them. So I'm going to just go up and down. Now in the comments section later, so part of our uh, session today is we're going to take some comments. So if you've got your Facebook open, which I know you have because you're watching this, um, you can put a comment or some feedback. If you really love something about this session or you really hated something about this session, please let us know. And uh, if you have a request for me to count to one to ten in a certain language, um, I will take that request, I will take that challenge. So next Monday, um, if you request a particular language, I will try and count in one to ten. <laughs> So there's a challenge for me too. This is brain training as well. Armenian. Okay. Armenian, okay, <laughs> my first challenge, Armenian, okay. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're done going backwards with our shoulder rolls. Now let's go forwards. Okay, forwards. Just a few more. Get those shoulders nice and limber. Now I'm going to put one of these down and I'm going to reach up to the sky high as I can, uh, reaching up as if I was going to change the light globe, and back down. So I'm really feeling that shoulder blade moving against my ribs. And just a couple more pumps up. Breathing is cool, of course. Okay, and the other hand. We'll just do about five. And one more. 
Okay, that's enough for our shoulders. And now we're going to move on to our sitting to standing exercise. I could use a weight for that if I wanted to. I could hold it against my chest like this to make it harder. But if you're not ready for that, just use your own body weight. And uh, also, if you need to push up against your chair, that's fine. Some people may not be able to get out of a chair on their own, in which case it's really good to have a chair with armrests that you can just help yourself up with. It's okay, even if you can't get out of your chair, as long as you get up a little bit, if you can just make your muscles activate even that far, you're still going to strengthen those muscles. Meanwhile, the rest of us who can stand up, I'm going to take a couple of weights, so this is about mm -hmm. one and a half kilos altogether, and I'm cutting it to my chest. Now, making sure that my shoulders are level over my knees when I do this. So I'm not going that way, I'm not going all on one side, because if I do that, I'm only strengthening one leg, one side of my body. And uh, when it comes to crunch time, the other leg may not be able to support me as well. So. Um, I'm going to make sure that my shoulders are evenly over both knees. So here we go. One. I have to think of another language. Two. Come on, practice your Armenian. Three. No, I need to have a, a practice <laughs> of that off, off camera first. <laughs> Now, if I'm going too fast for you, you just do what you can at home. You just go at your own pace. That's seven. Eight. Remember, this one is a really good one for being able to stay independent at home. Because if you can't get out of bed in the morning and you can't get on and off the toilet by yourself or to and from your dining room table, it means someone else has to help you. And that's when you lose your independence. So that's a really good exercise. And like I said, even if you can only do this, that's fine. If you want to make it really safe and uh, if you're a bit unbalanced and you can't control the chair behind you when you stand up, make sure you have it resting against the bench. I'll just show you what that looks like. So that's so if I was a bit unsteady and had poor strength in my thighs, still bringing my shoulders towards my knees and pushing, I would just be doing more like that. Okay, so that's the sitting to standing. I did have some music to put on today. Just a minute. Let me load my code now. So something else I was going to um, show you, well I'll show you that in a minute. First of all we'll do our standing up exercises at the bench. And these are, remember, coming out of this little book which you can freely download. And um, it's got the exercises, so it's got a little bit about exercise in the front. And then it has the principles of effective balance training. Then it's got some pictures and description of how to do the exercises. These are all taken from the Otago Exercise Program, mm. uh, which is a world famous, very widely supported exercise program for use at home, as long as you set yourself up to be safe. Kitchen bench, chair, etc. Also at the back of this book, we have some blog sheets. So you've got the picture on the side, picture of the exercise. You've got a space for every day of the week if you want to practice and you can just write down how many times you did them so have a look at that if when you get a chance I'll put it up online and you can get that for free so the next little exercise uh, one of these exercises in the book is this one so this is for the side hip strengthening exercise or they call it the side hip strengthening exercise in the Otago exercise program we can make it purely a strength exercise or we can make it a balance exercise as well. Something I'm going to do today is make it 
I'm going to make a weight okay, to put around my ankle. So this exercise I'm about to show you, you can actually use a weight for. Now I did say before that the weight of your own leg is sufficient. But if you are strong, and that is much challenging enough for you, you can add a weight. So what have I got here? I've got a pair of old socks, okay? So you can make weights out of just about anything. I've got an old sock. I've just stuffed that bag of rice into the old sock. Now I'm going to um, tie it around my ankle. Hope it doesn't fall off in the middle of this. Uh, when I run exercise programs and falls prevention programs for different communities, it's interesting to see all the different ways that people come up, all the different ideas they have for making a weight. I remember down in, in, um, in Yurunga, in the mid north coast, it was a fishing village. And hello, if you're from Yurunga, uh, one of the people came up with an idea of fishing sinkers. <laughs> because that's what they do in Yurunga. Lots of people go fishing. Okay, so that probably won't fall. I don't recommend that you walk around with these weights on because you could probably trip yourself over. But if you're just standing up doing some exercises, this is how you can do it. I'll use my chair so you can see. So we're going to keep our body up nice and tall. We're going to hang onto our chair. Here we are. I'm going to slightly bend this leg and I'm going to take this leg out to the side. So now I've got a 750 gram weight on my foot. It makes it a bit more challenging. You notice I'm not taking it out very far. It's only about that far. Okay, here we go. Now, now that you've had a look at it, we're going to start exercising and we'll count to 10 in Italian again. Here we go. Uno, due, Tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nuove, dieci. <laughs> okay, so now I've got to get the weight onto my other foot. So I'm sitting down very safely before I take it off. I'm just going to hook it right there to my other foot. Voila. And the other leg now. Here we go. And should we do Italian again? No, okay. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. I have tried Vietnamese before, but I've forgotten. Oh. <laughs> so it's going to be Italian again. <laughs> Next week, Vietnamese. Okay. Oh, no. Due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nuove, dieci. We're thinking of our, of our Italian friends, especially at this time with the coronavirus and wishing them all the best. Now, while I've got my ankle weight on, I'm going to do a chair exercise that uses an ankle weight. Now, before I do this one, if you have a sore knee, take the weight off. So you do not do this with an ankle weight if you have a sore knee or even a sore back or hip. Any pain around here, just take the weight off use the weight of your own leg. And, uh, and even if you can't straighten your leg fully, only go as far as you can, because you'll still be getting a bit of contraction there in your muscle, still be making work. Okay, so I'm gonna sit back in my chair, my back's nice and supported, and I'm just going to, better angle here, I'm just going to take my foot straight up, like that. So now I've applied a weight and it makes the exercise harder. That's two. Hope you're doing this at home. That's three. So pull your toes towards your nose and tighten the kneecap. 
Feel that muscle clenching under your hand there. That's your quadriceps muscle. Pull the toes right back. Now I'm going to put it on the other leg. And this is usually a pretty boring exercise actually and it's one that you can stay for watching TV. So, or wherever you sit down and don't have much to do. Here we go. Uno. Due. Tre. Quattro. Cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci. Okay, so this time I'm going to pull my toes towards my nose, clench my kneecap, hold it up for ten. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Très bien. Okay, let's take that off. And we're going to do, there's any number of exercises we could be doing with those weights, but I'm just going to give you a balance exercise now. This is the one where we line our feet up against the tiles of our floor if we have them. So I've got my feet lined up here. And bench but I'm not holding it but it's there for safety if I wanted to be even safer I could put this chair like this so now I'm really really safe and that would be appropriate for people who use a walking aid not so steady on the feet so now I'm going down I'm going down as far as I can until my foot wants to lift up at the back. And I'm keeping my body up as tall as I can. And I'll count to it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And come back up. Now we're going to change so that the other leg is in front. Day we did some progressions for this exercise and we might just start with those again and then I'll give you some even harder balance exercises with your safe setup. So if you're at home, make sure that you're really safe now where you are because I can't see you and it's your responsibility to keep yourself safe in your own kitchen. <laughs> Get a chair set up, have your bench next to you, okay, or two chairs if you're not in the kitchen. Um, have something on both sides because we're going to do some balance now. All right, so bending down again. I'm going to move forwards and back. Whoa, and if you feel the wobbles, that's a good sign. You might remember from another video that I talked about the organs of balance, speaking to the brain. And you might remember they are the eyes, the inner ears, and the proprioceptors in your limbs, all sending messages to the brain 
and then the brain sending a command out to your muscles to change length and tension to keep your balance. So that explains what the wobbling is in your feet and your ankles. That's a very long-winded explanation, isn't it? But just know that this is really good practice for balance. Okay, let's put our other foot in front. Safety first. If you need to hold on, by all means, hold on. So here we go. So I'm just gently going forwards and backwards. Whoa, trying to keep my balance. Now in another video, our pop-up balance video, I explained that the heaviest part of your body is kind of connected to the earth by gravity. It's like an invisible anchor. And when that invisible anchor, or that heaviest part of your body with the invisible anchor, falls to the ground between your feet, then you're more likely to stay balanced. If you were to um, keep your feet wider apart um, and keep that invisible anchor in between your feet, you're going to have more chance of staying balanced and upright. And let's just feel that. Let's take our feet a little bit wider apart. So I've got them here apart. I'm going to put one in front and one at, back, at the back. You can even turn your foot out a bit if you want more support. Hello. And I'm just going to bend my knees, my knee at the front, and then straighten it. And just shift my weight. And that is going to shift my centre of mass. <laughs> so I'm being joined by a little friend here, a little obstacle who's going to tie my foot up for me. Vito. <laughs> And this is, why, this is why it's a good idea to tie your pets up when you're trying to exercise, just so they don't trip you over. If you're lucky enough to have a little friend at home. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tie up my foot. Okay, so I'm, I'm feeling where my, the heaviest part of my body is around here. And it, the line between that part of my body and the floor, or gravity, Hitting the ground somewhere between my feet. Now, if I was to, you know, if you do this as well, make sure you've got your hands close to your support. If I was to reach and lean, then that heaviest part of my body, connecting by the invisible line to uh, the floor, that would be falling somewhere outside my feet. And in that situation, the brain has to really work hard to keep my balance. Okay, let's try that with the other foot in front. So take one foot in front, one behind. Turn your foot out if you need more stability. Bend your knees a little bit. We're going to just lean. Make sure you've got your hands over your support. Leaning back and forwards. So after these exercises, don't run away because I'm going to open my computer and take comments and questions. Now you can see how doing this sort of movement, you have to be kind of mindful of where your balance point is. So if we can train ourselves to put that into our everyday life. So for example, if I was going to stack my sophisticated weight up high on a shelf, or down low in the drawer, <laughs> I can be mindful of where my center of mass and my gravity point is, and I can Kind of retrain myself to move in such a way so that I can keep my balance just in everyday life. 
So that would be the ultimate aim of these exercises. Meanwhile, we're just going to practice some simple ones and train you up a bit. So I'm now going to open my computer. Thank you for your attention. If you would like to ask me any questions, now's the time. Okay, so let me just refresh my page. Someone's saying hi. tune out or you can try and talk to me live. Okay, I can't find this post. We might have to, we might have to just try this off camera. Okay, so send me your questions and comments and I will respond.